Hello and welcome to Dommy Tries This. I hope you brought your cuppa. Today's coffee mug is a Christmas mug. I believe my mother-in-law got this for me, but I am not positive. Um, but it's perfect for today because we are doing our first mail call, which means gifties. I love me some gifties. Anyway, and to go with this Christmas-themed mug and the package opening, we have our tea today is chocolate mint oolong, which smells absolutely amazing. I'm going to give this a taste. Oh, so good. Love the chocolate. The mint is not that strong, but it's right on that tail end, and it gives you that minty mm, that, that minty feeling to your mouth it's just it's wonderful oh. so like I said today is our first mail call opening for the channel um, maybe our last we shall see uh, probably not I, I know of at least one person who will probably continue to send things but at any rate uh, it is later in the day. This is my third filming for the day. So it's a little noisy out there. We got kids running around. We've got somebody out back. It sounds like they're blowing some kind of whistle. <laughs> so I apologize for some of the background noise we have going on right now. But I wanted to get all this done. Uh, you're going to be seeing this uh, about a week after I filmed it. Um, I kind of wanted to get it done because we're going to be going out we would have gone out. We're going to be going out this weekend. And since I have been getting over being sick, um, I'm a little concerned that the food is going to kind of put me off for my normal filming day a little bit. And I'm probably going to want to take that day and just rest. So I wanted to get this done today and go ahead and share. And besides, one of these packages had to be opened early and I am really anxious to get to using some of the stuff in there. So let's go ahead and get started and we will get started with that main package. So this came in from Jennifer. Jennifer has sent me some gifts before and I would have left it. However, um, this is how the package arrived. So we were really concerned about um, the condition of the items inside and whether or not they were all there. Uh, the top was already open, which was also a concern. Nobody had bothered to retape it or anything when I received it. Um, so we wanted to go through and check it. The good news is everything was indeed there that is, was supposed to be there. The bad news is one of the items did come damaged. I did check with the store to see if I could um, exchange it. They would have exchanged it, except they no longer had. It was out of stock. Um, and since then, it's been an, enough weeks that I'm just going to leave it alone. So that first item, which I'm actually anxious to try, is the but butter, the Physician's Formula Butter Collection that came out in Walmart. Um, as you can see, my one of my highlighters it did come damaged. When, when we saw it, like I said, I checked to see if they would have, Walmart would have taken it and exchanged it. They would have exchanged it. However, um, they were out of stock at, within, at all the Walmarts, very local. So I basically just repressed it. I used a, uh, I have these round flat uh, pads that I use to clean my nails. I placed that down and I just kept pressing on it really hard so it's there and then I tested it to make sure it would still work and yes it still works as you can see it's beautiful color the funny thing is is I forgot that um, I had this on and I went to bed that night and in the morning I still had it on uh, the lighter one I have not even looked at yet oh my god look at that that's beautiful. And then we have this peachy blush, which also has a bit of a shimmer shine to it, but is otherwise a gorgeous color. And then we have the bronzer, 
Well, I don't know if that one's going to work for my skin tone so much. Um, because it is shiny, it might actually... It's not as shiny, though. Hmm. I'll have to, I might be able to use that one as a bit of a blush. This blush is a little bit too shimmery for me, but I think that would be a gorgeous, subtle highlight. Uh, these are really shiny highlights. Those are beautiful. I'm looking forward to playing with them. They've been sitting out. Uh, I didn't want them to get to any more damage, so the box has actually been sitting outside of that package until it came time to film. Um, and I've been looking at it and going, I want to play with it, but I can't because it has to be opened quote unquote. So I'm looking forward to playing with those. The perfume, I don't think Jennifer at the time that she bought this realized that um, as much as I love perfumes, I cannot wear them. So this is going to be going to my oldest daughter. I think she's going to enjoy that. But I am looking forward to playing around with that. So it's beautiful and I'm, 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 the shinies are shiny. They're shiny. I love shinies. I love shinies. It's the dragon in me. And now it doesn't want to close. There we go. Got it. I love the packaging. It's it's something that I can store easily. So that's beautiful and I really appreciate it. And I know this thing sold out really fast. So Jennifer, I really appreciate you sending this to me. Thank you very, very much. The other thing that she sent to me, and I've actually used some of it because... Um, at the time that I received it, like I said, we went through it to make sure everything was in here. Um, but at the time, I was starting to run out of my usual shampoo and stuff. So she had also purchased me, purchased for me the Walmart Love My Curls box, which included the Maui Moisture Heal and Hydrate Shea Butter Shampoo and the Maui Moisture Heal and Hydrate Shea Butter Conditioner. I love these. I enjoy these a lot. I'm enjoying uh, my curl box right now, but I am going to hang on to these and definitely use them again if I run out of a product that comes in from curl box um, before my next curl box comes in. And I would honestly consider purchasing full sizes of these. These were these are beautiful. They are wonderful. Another item that I have used from that box is the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthening and Restore Leave-In Conditioner. Another one that I have really, really enjoyed using. My hair enjoyed it. I still have quite a bit left. Um, something else I'm definitely hanging on to and definitely going to use. Um, actually, I'm trying to get through a uh, another problem. I'm almost done with a sample product from... And I, can never remember it when I absolutely need to. Mm, green packaging. It's in the back of my head. At any rate, I'm almost out of that one. So this will probably go in when that one is gone to um, um, supplement what I have. I basically have been mixing the one that I can't remember with the one that I just got with my curl box and this will probably end up doing the same thing. Also in here is the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus, Hibiscus Curl Enhancing Smoothie. Um, I did want to try this before but I never got to it so I'm looking forward to trying it. This is section here and apply product sparingly to damp or dry hair do not rinse out style is desired for best results use as a styling cream for twist outs braids and wash and goes so this is probably going to be good one of the things i noticed with the curl box is some of the products say apply liberally i can't do that with my hair my hair it it weighs my hair down so to apply sparingly this will be perfect for me perfect Looking forward to using that. And then we have a couple of other things in here from that box. Okay, I definitely am going to be able to need this. This is the John Frieda Frizz Ease Secret Weapon Touch Up Cream. Calms and soothes frizz prone hair. We have been so humid lately. And I've been fortunate that my hair has just been curly. Um, today it's been trying to frizz a little bit it hasn't much 
this will be great on days where the humidity and stuff just my hair gives up and goes okay <laughs> and I can tell you right now there is a picture of me on Instagram when I try to do really small curly cues and they didn't work out so well but they do demonstrate what my hair looks like when it's frizzy it's it's bad it's bad it looks terrible so this will be wonderful to use for when this stuff out here finally gets too much for up here and we have this curl box was really nice Trace May extra hold mousse all day humidity resistance um, I've not been much of a Tresemme fan, but you know, I'm willing to give this a try. I'm also not much of a mousse fan, to be honest with you. I tried a mousse conditioner recently and it reaffirmed my, I'm not much of a mousse fan, but I will give this a try and see if this is different and if I like it. Um, if not, you know what? One item out of six so far, I can live with that. Um, but yeah, looking forward to giving that one a try especially on humid days. And then we've got two envelopes in here. We have the Ors Curls Unleashed Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioner. Mango, Shea Butter and Mango Leave-In Conditioner. Hair Softener and Moisture for Naturals, which I definitely am, although I'm not African American. So I'm looking forward to using that. I love leave-in conditioners. My hair has really been soaking them up lately. And then we have the Hask Coconut Milk and Organic Honey Curl Care Deep Conditioner. Is this a leave-in or is this one you use in the shower? Okay. Directions. Apply a generous amount of deep conditioner to clean wet hair, massage into hair, focusing on damaged areas. Leave on for 10 minutes and rinse well. So this is almost like a mask. That's cool because um, I had a, um, I think it was the, one of the new masks from Garnet, the new Naturals masks. And I'm out and I like to do that midweek. Um, on Sundays, I like to use my Briogeo deep conditioning mask so this can replace the mask that I'm now out of that's nice and if I like it and it's not too expensive I might pick it up and we have one more item in here we have makeup remover wipes I think somebody doesn't want me to use baby wipes um, my problem with makeup remover wipes in the past is they tend to be kind of stingy to me. Uh, so we'll give these a try and they're actually in good timing because my current package of baby wipes is almost gone. So I can give these a shot and use these when those are gone. And thank you. Thank you so much, Jennifer. I really appreciate it. So for our last two packages, one of them, I know what it is, I think. I hope. And the other one is a total surprise. So we're going to go with the one that I think I know what it is. Um, I was talking in our, um, I was doing a live on our Ipsy group and um, the Winky Lux palette came up. You can barely see it. Winky Lux. And somebody mentioned that it was on special and I said I'd already, I've, um, with the Ipsy deals, and I mentioned that um, I'd always been curious about trying a w Winky Lux palette, any Winky Lux palette, <laughs> not just the one that everybody likes to talk about, but that at that point in time, I wasn't able to pick it up and she said, I'll get it for you, which was very, very appreciative. So Stephanie, Here's your box, and still very appreciative. I can hardly wait to open this up and take a look. Um, I have never had a Winky Lux product, ever. Okay, maybe I can wait to open it up because it doesn't want to open. We all know I can't open things, right? I've been doing really well up to now. <sighs> Aha, I missed a spot. Zootulo, I missed a spot. I'm really excited to see this and give it a try. 
And it still doesn't want to open. There we go. Oh, there's a little note. I'm giving you some extras. I see you doing your nails. Keep it up. So I'm giving you some nail decals, nail foil, rhinestones, nail stickers, and nail tape. I hope you enjoy. Thank you, Stephanie. That's so cool. Oh, that's cool. So this says, Hum Beauty uh, Supplements are backed by clinical results, and I can get $15 off at humnutrition.com. Hum Hair, gummies with benefits for stronger, healthier hair. Get to give those a try. These must be the decals. That's cool. Oh, I can't wait to play with those. I haven't played with any of that before. I've looked at them, never tried that kind of stuff. Oh, man. I think that's glitter. Oh, that's neat. Or pearls. Damn, those are tiny. Those are tiny. Never played with anything like that before. Look at that. This must be, is that the nail tape? Oh, that is. I get to look around and figure it all out. Oh, tip guides. Cause I constantly do, my nails are not looking good right now. I need to redo them, but I do the little tips, tip guides. That's cool. Never even knew those existed. I've just been using, I've been using painter's tape. That's neat. That's neat. Oh, nail decals. Oh, thank you so much. I get to play some more. I get to play some more. I love playing. I love playing. My daughter is going to be like, whoa when I try these on. She's also, my my youngest is also, she uses uh, fake nails and stuff all the time. Well, this is really, really cool. Thank you. And here's the Winky Lux palette. Real excited to give this a try. Come on out. Oh, that's got a nice firm hold on it. There's the colors. That's beautiful. <gasps> Those are that, you know, that is just up my alley. We've got roses because I love roses. We've got a couple of neutrals and then the pop, the pop of color. Ooh. I'm already having fun. Already having fun with it. Okay. Oh, wow. That is beautiful. Oh my goodness. Are they all like that? Had to grab a, my, one of my wipes that fell in the floor. <laughs> this would be an okay travel palette, I think. I don't think it's gonna, it will pop open on you in your purse. Oh man. <gasps> oh man. Look at those colors. Those are beautiful. I'm kind of trying to hurry because my husband just sent me a text. And I'm sure he's going, why isn't she answering me? <laughs> nice set of mats in there. Oh, man. Wow. Wow. Oh, I'm really looking forward to playing with this. Thank you so much for the present, Stephanie. I so appreciate it. I really, really do. I love it. I can't wait to start doing some looks with this. Somebody did mention on the Ipsy group that I should start doing some more neutrally type looks, some warm, warm colors. So I've been doing a lot of greens and blues lately. So I'm, I'm looking forward to playing with that to do some warm colors. Finally, we have a gift from Tamaray. 
I hope I am pronouncing that correctly. I put a little sticker on here because she just put T, her last name, on it. Um, and I wanted to make sure that I got the name correct when I filmed. So let's get this one open. Okay, so what did Tamaray send? Oh, whoa. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Is that supposed to be on there like that? No, whoa. I guess you can put them on in whatever way you want. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Oh, they're beautiful. This is Dragonfly Soul Wire Wrap Gems. She makes them jewelry and sun catchers. Wow, that's beautiful. I want to make sure there's no, make sure I got everything. Yep, before I go tossing that out. That is gorgeous. That's gorgeous. Thank you, Tamaray. Those are beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Um, I will include... I will include a link to her uh, Etsy store down below. That is gorgeous. Thank you so, so much. That is, oh man, that is just absolutely a stunning, stunning. Oh, that's beautiful. <gasps> Thank you. Thank you. I love it. I love it. I love it all. Thank you so much. I so appreciate you guys. I really, really do. Um, this is, I'm, I am overwhelmed. I really am. I, the love and the appreciation is just, it, it, I can't, I can't even, I can't even express how much it's appreciated it really is and these were some beautiful beautiful gifts beautiful oh and these are on you know what I'm gonna have to ask Tamaray but hopefully these are safe enough because they're on like um, they're like on key rings and I put stuff on my, like, I put all kinds of stuff on my key ring. I have a stuffed tiger on there right now. So I'll have to ask her if this will be, it looks like it would be, if this will be safe to put one of these on my key ring. That would be gorgeous. Thank you so much. It's just, oh, that's beautiful. Thank you. Anyway, oh, I'm just, I'm overwhelmed. You know, this, like I said, this is coming, uh, going to be posted probably a week or so after I film it. And I've had a couple of people be um, unnecessarily cruel this past week. Plus, I've been sick and the weather has not helped. Um, I do suffer from a mild case of SAD. Plus, the, uh, the changes in the weather can... Um, give me headaches. So this has been a rough week and this is just I'm not gonna cry I really appreciate the love I appreciate the love. I appreciate all the items. I appreciate you guys thinking of me and I Just I love it. Thank you. Thank you and thank you to everybody who has subscribed to the channel